I'm gonna put on my crystal ball here. Oh, jeez. Here we you go. You know what? It's gonna be a, a highly contested race down the stretch. You know, if I look at things, I saw the Dodgers make two big offensive moves. I, I really believe pitching is gonna win this division. I think they do have enough to get to the playoffs, so I'm gonna stick with the Dodgers. They're just, they're, they're loaded with depth. Their starters seem to find a way. Rich Hill and crew, and Kershaw's the main key, we all know that, but Rich Hill is, has really been a big game pitcher here through ups and downs, the tough time. I still like the Dodgers. Most people say no, but I like the Dodgers. Yeah, I like the Dodgers too, and, and, and you made a reference to it a little bit ago. I mean, two of the big moves they brought over, Manny Machado in, in the hole for shortstop, and also they had a hole at second base, mm -hmm. bring over Silky Smooth Brian Dozier. Absolutely crucial right there for them. Dozier filled that hole that they left. Bringing those guys over not only gives Roberts flexibility, but he gives him the opportunity to, to kind of mix and match. I mean, he's got guys on the bench you can step up. You know Chris, man. I mean, uh, the Dodger Blue, man, these guys are coming. This is something, they've won the, what, the division five years yes, in a row? Yes, they're going for six in yeah, a row. Yeah, I mean, these guys know exactly what they're doing right now. Dave Roberts is a perfect manager for that team right now. Head down the stretch, the Dodgers will win the NL West. All right, so they're versatile, they can score runs, but yes. you said pitching ultimately wins. You think they have enough pitching. That's the one area they didn't really improve, and getting, getting to Kenley Jansen to close right. out games, if you get into the postseason, that's been a problem once their starters go five or six. I think they got enough to get over the hump just because they did add two exciting offensive pieces. Brian Dozier has been lights out National yep. League, I mean, American League Central last couple of years. This guy's hit 40 home runs back to back years. Yep. Got no love or respect for Minnesota for a new contract. I don't understand it at all, but he, he's a good clubhouse guy. He brings an edge to the team. He will be a, a factor down the stretch along with Manny Machado. Well, also think about on the pitching side of things. I mean, I know we always talk about Kershaw, but you got Walker Bueller, who's had a tremendous season. Ross Stripling. Ross Stripling got his first uh, all-star appearance this year. But also, what about Urias coming up from the minor leagues? I mean, I think he might be available to yes. pitch when needed, and that's a great left-handed arm uh, in, in times of need for sure. It's about, what, 49, 50 games to go, mm -hmm. still to be decided. But if right. you look at the list of the AL candidates, uh, who would you pick? Who would you name as your guy, Frank, if you're voting right now? It's a tough race. All five of those guys are deserving. I really believe it's Chris Sale's year to win. Last five years, he's been lights out. Five top five finishes, three straight all-star starts. For me, model consistency, it's time for Chris Sale to win a Cy Young. His team has the best record in baseball. He's had a lot to do with it. Well, if you want to win the Cy Young, you better have the buzz. And the buzz right now is a man by the name of Trevor Bauer. This kid has grown up right in front of our eyes, man. We have seen him do things with the baseball that we haven't seen anybody do. That big 12-6 curveball is just baffling hitters this year. He's only one strikeout behind Sale. He leads the American League in innings pitch. You want to talk about consistency? This dude goes out and pitches every fifth day. And on top of that, the Indians have the easiest remaining schedule <laughs> in baseball to move forward. But switch, I'm telling you, that has to switch. switch. With eight or nine starts left, You're there's something to be said for that. His teammate is Corey Kluber, who has 14 right. wins. I know. I, yeah, I, know, is, I, I didn't think about that. I'm just, Dr. Cy Young. I'm just saying. I feel like both of those right. guys, Corey has helped out right. Bauer for sure this year. His mound right. presence has been tremendous. And his numbers right now say he's in the race. Right. Yeah, and I get he's in the race. With Houston, though, <laughs> a team, I get you have teammates Justin Verlander and, and Garrett yeah, Cole. Oh, yes. Right, so you're saying that subtracts you're saying from they're gonna, I yeah. think so. I think so. But Chris Sell has earned a, a chance to win a Cy Young. You're right. He's been finishing so closely second and third and fourth. He's In any of those years, he could have won. Bottom line is, he's been a model consistency. Three straight all-star start appearances. That's unheard of. This man deserves a Cy Young. He's out there year in and year out leading his team to victory. And this year, they got the best record in baseball. Well, also, you said something earlier that made a lot of sense. And Alex Cora has done a great job maybe limiting Chris Sale's innings because we've always seen him jump out to great first halves. Mm -hmm. And then the second half, he's kind of slowed down. It was your point that you brought up saying, like, wow, maybe Alex is doing a great job controlling those innings mm -hmm. so he has enough to get him through the postseason. Right.